Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to experience Cedar Breaks Park on Lake Georgetown. That's on the San Gabriel River, Georgetown, Texas. And we are actually right here in site number 55. We've been here once before. It's actually one of the early campgrounds that I was documenting. We had a travel trailer at that point, and now we don't. But we're in site number 55. I'm, I'm rambling. Site number 55 on the website, recreation.gov, it looked, I was really concerned that I was gonna have a hard time getting level. It wasn't too bad. It did run downhill. As you can see, I've got five blocks on there. Side to side, we're good. And with five blocks, we were level. The patio has, has something to be desired, but this, this area, this part of Texas is really rough country anyway. And it's called Cedar Breaks Park because we're right in the middle of the Cedar Breaks. All those beautiful juniper trees that makes everyone's nose run this time of year. I want to thank Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. If you're still sleeping on that thin inner spring mattress that came with your expensive RV, you might want to think about upgrading to something better so that when you are camping, you can get a really good night's rest. What makes Brooklyn Bedding unique is that they are made right here in the good old USA, in Arizona, right over there. They offer you a 120 night trial, meaning you get to unpack it, put it on your bed and sleep on it for 120 nights. And if you don't get the best sleep ever, they'll take it back. And you get a 10 year warranty. <laughs> Think about that for a moment. 120 night trial, a 10 year warranty on a mattress. So you're guaranteed to get the best night's sleep ever. And they have mattresses for more than just your RV. They have mattresses for every situation where you might need a mattress. And they're all made right here in the good old US of A. So to learn more and to see what mattress fits your lifestyle the best, go to rvmattress.com backslash Dude RV. All right, let's get back to the program. We do have a fire pit. We have a nice big wood picnic table and one of those really awesome wood Corps of Engineer structures. If you can put your camp stove right there. Who needs a camp stove when you've got a barbecue? do some shrimp on the bobby this is a 50 amp site we got starlink verizon's a little bit spotty here 50 amp and water well look how high off the ground we are <laughs> that's, that's eye level with dude rv we gotta figure out how to get the valkyrie down He's way up there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out Sable, and we'll go see some stuff. Let's talk about the showers. Of course, we are in a Corps of Engineer campground. This would be your handicap shower. That's your non-handicap shower. Looks like the shower head broke. So they put a new one on. Stainless steel fixtures. Hey, that's nothing to write home about, but it's better than nothing. Site number 13 is a pretty good one. Check this out. Really level. Well, I don't know how level it is, but it looks to be really level. And you've got a great view. Now, just about all of the water side, water side, that doesn't mean our water side, there's a, a cliff, have got a really good view. But this one has got a nice big yard for the dogs. 
as well as a great view while you're sitting on your patio. All right, let's, let's go see some more stuff. Supposedly, we've got our own fishing dock here at Cedar Breaks Campground. I'm, I'm having my doubts because I can't see the water. I sure won't be bringing the scooter down here. So if I hear one more big name YouTube channel saying that there's, there's no drought in Texas, I'm gonna kick his butt. <laughs> That's the courtesy dock for the boat ramp. This is the fishing dock. And when I was here the first and the last time, I guess that was like five years ago, that ramp was horizontal. So that means the water was up here. So that that's the average water. You can see the, the difference in color. Right there. That's the water line. Not, go, not gonna be any fish caught here today. Alright, let's go see some more stuff. Of course, that means I've got to go back up. The hill. <laughs> what was I thinking? The things I do for you. Since you can't do any fishing, while you're in the parking lot of the fishing dock, there's a there's a historical marker. Looking out here, there are the foundational, the, the remains of a house built in the late 1800s. So you can go do a little historical exploration. All right, let's go see some more stuff. My boat ramp fans will be happy to know we still have a boat ramp. It's a really long way down to the water though. Don't plan on using that courtesy dock. That, that bad boy's high and dry. All right, let's go see the day use area. Cedar Breaks Park has a very nice day use area. Lots of tables with covers, barbecue pits. They don't, don't really have a beach, don't really have a swim area. And even if they did right now, you, you wouldn't be able to get down to the water and you get, be advised when you're here, watch your step. This is rattlesnake country. You don't want to step on one of them rattling worms. That, that'll ruin your day. That'll ruin your day in a big way. So the difference, you've got the brown and then the white. The white is usually underwater. You can kind of look at the dam and see that we've got a pretty wide spot there. Of course, I was below the dam earlier so I went across the way. I went over there. And then I went below the dam. So let's go check that out. I, and then we'll, we'll cut back in here. So if you're camping at Lake Georgetown and you want to do some fishing, I actually came around to the other side of the lake from the campground. From Cedar Breaks Park. I'm actually trying to get to the facility just below the dam, but I didn't see that road. And then I found this. And that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. It's a nice smooth road. No hunting. No worries.
Lake Georgetown is a really pretty little lake. It's not real big. It looks like the fishing platform is, that may not be the fishing platform. I think that's a straw. Water intake. Deep drop, no swimming or waiting. No worries. Well, now that's cool. So that campground, that you, I don't know if you can see it, that's the day use area for, for Cedar Breaks Park. Cedar Breaks Campground. The other, can't remember the name, Hog, Jim Hog Park is over there. Well, that's pretty cool. So the North Fork of the San Gabriel River. Uh, you can pause and read. It's finished in 79. This is the Overlook Park. So you get to Look at the cedar elm trees. All right. Let's see, if, let's see if we can find a way to get to the place below the dam. This is the stilling basin for Lake Georgetown. That's the road I was on going into... That's the road that goes by the entrance to Cedar Breaks Park. That's the dam up there. It looks like they just drilled right through the side of the cliff. The big pipe. Not too much water coming out of it. And that's the San Gabriel River. There's probably some fish in there. All right. We gotta get. <laughs> it's only about 10 miles from the top of. Actually, you can't drive across the dam. You can bike and hike across the dam. As you can see, there's people. I don't know if you can see them. Probably not. But to get from from right here to on top of that bridge is about about 10 miles round trip. All right, let's let's go see some more stuff. I'm really impressed with what the Corps of Engineers has done here on the San Gabriel River. They've got, they've actually got a river trail. This, this is below the, the stilling basin, below the lake, below the dam. But it's a bunch of hiking trails. And someday I'm gonna need to come back with the scooter and scoot it or the e-bike and e-bike it. Last time I was here, I didn't know about this. I don't, at least I don't remember. I don't remember this one. This is the day use area fishing platform. So it looks like people are just primarily using the stairs to get down here and fish off the bank. Because there's certainly not much fishing going on in there. Now why would you throw your trash in there? It's not a trash can. Come on people. And once again, no fish are, no fish are going to be caught on this fishing dock. All right, let's go see if let's go see if we can find some more stuff. One of the cool things about Corps of Engineer campgrounds is you can you can go out and harvest your own dead deadfall, your own firewood. 
that doesn't mean you should go out and just cut down live trees but if you can find dead stuff on the ground like that you can build a big old fire just be careful if you're in any central texas campground you got to always be cognizant that there are rattlesnakes so so don't just bend down and pick up a stick it might bite all right i'm gonna go see if i can find a few more logs i don't know if i have enough but i'm gonna take sable and we're gonna go see if we can find a few more sticks because i i feel a bonfire coming on <laughs> I just, I got a bonfire urge. I've been burning in the, in the can stove thing for all winter. It's time to burn some wood. Out investigating what other dogs, what all the other dogs think about this campground. Come on, we're walking. We're not smelling. But that, that's a big tree. I'm empty. But I got I gotta let everybody know I was here. This is site number 35. That'd be a heck of a heck of a patio view. But Trudy Thunder. I don't think I could get her level on that one. So if you're gonna come to Cedar Breaks, make sure you keep an eye on your kids. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is, this is rattlesnake country. Not to mention the fact that there's a, one heck of a cliff right there. Now this next side, I, I think we might be, I think I might be able to get level. Tex, we're walking. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. We're walking. Come on, we're walking. It takes us forever. I could get level on that one. For now, anyway, it's on its way downhill. What a great view. All right, we're gonna go find some more stuff. Good morning. Good morning from Cedar Breaks Campground. We're done here. We've been here three nights. We're done. There's two things I need to tell you about. First, I, we, we enjoy the camp. We, we love this campground, uh, the setting. It's quiet. It's convenient to 35, so it's a great waypoint stop. Access to the lake, to the riding trails, uh, the paved trails. And if you're into the biped trails, there's a great one of those as well. And you could probably take a mountain bike on some of those off those rough country trails. I wasn't willing to go on the e-bike. Just, just the, a lot of those pointy rocks. Which brings me to one of the detractors for this site and a couple of, and a few of the other sites walking around in your site is like walking in a minefield because of those sharp pointy rocks if i had had a rake it would have been a, a much better campsite after about an hour's worth of work most of the sites are are good the pads most of them are good and won't be too much of a challenge to get level just know some of them you're going to have a lot of these rocks, especially since they've used the caliche rocks to build up the pad before they paved it. And they've kind of softened the edges of the, the pad with that caliche rock. So don't be surprised if you show up and your campsite's full of 
these mines that will hurt your feet. The main detractor for Cedar Breaks Campground are the restrooms. Uh, the contractor that has the contract for maintaining, servicing the facilities uh, hasn't been by to clean any of the bathrooms since we've been here. And they're bad. Don't expect to take a, a nice relaxing Hollywood shower. The water just kind of dribbles out. Uh, there's very little pressure and, and it, this is right there. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's hot, or at least it's warm. If you have a shower in your RV, you're going to want to use that. So you're right next to Georgetown. There's lots of great stuff happening in Georgetown. Of course, you're in the hill country, and there's always something interesting happening in the hill country. It's peaceful, with the exception of the construction site right over the hill. You don't have a whole lot of road noise or aircraft noise, and certainly not much boat noise with the water level in the lake being low. The water level... Not much we can do about that in a, you know, on the tail end of a drought. That Hopefully that water level issue will be resolved this spring. There's rain on the, on the horizon, which is why it's still gray and gloomy at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're packing up. We're heading out of here. Uh, I think this is a good destination. Just know there's a few things to be aware of. That way you're not surprised like we were. Great place to bring the kids. If you like to hike and bike, this is a great campground. I mean, you can get on those paved trails over that go into Georgetown on the, on the river, the San Gabriel trails. Those were really cool and they had more. I could have gone for many more miles on those trails. I think that sums up Cedar Breaks Park. It's a good one. I think you should pay a visit, at least as a waypoint stop. If you found this video to be entertaining, informative in any way, shape, or form, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. And if you've not already, I'd be, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, I sure appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. And for my patrons. Oh, wait a minute. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?